हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फिजियो ट्रेंड्स दिस इज द फिजियो क्वेस्ट सीरीज एंड माई सेल्फ फिजियो प्रेम शाह हु इज गोइंग टू डिस्कस बोथ द क्वेश्चन आस्क ड्यूरिंग दिस वीक सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्ट ऑन दिस वीक द क्वेश्चन गोज समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट सेज अ फिजियोथेरापिस्ट एग्जाम इज द ई सी जी ऑफ अ पेशेंट ड्यूरिंग एक्सरसाइज and what changes in the ecg would be indicative of myocardial infarction options given are option a p wave changes option b pr interval changes option c qrs changes and option d st segment changes now my dear friends in this questions very simple very basic question it is asked that okay when a person is exercising what changes we will expect in the ecg when a person is having myocardial ischemia or infarction so basically we need to find out here that in ecg what abnormality will be present whenever patient is suffering from myocardial ischemia ischemia means blood circulation is less to the uh, heart blood supply is less to the heart and because of that functioning of the heart will not be proper so what exactly happens with the p wave whenever the myocardial ischemia is there so basically in response to exercise normally p wave increases right so there will be changes seen normally also so that is why we can easily eliminate this option a option b says that pr interval changes now yes again if a person is suffering from any myocardial ischemia or something pr interval is going to be extended it is going to increase okay but here in the option it is not typically mentioned that it has to increase or decrease only mentioning is pr interval changes so but still i would still consider this option that this might be right or this might not be right option c which says this qr qrs complex changes now qrs complex basically is what that it signifies the depolarization of the heart it is the time when the heart is preparing for the systole like getting contracted and that has nothing relevant with the myocardial ischemia so no much changes anyways are going to be seen in the ecg option d which says that st segment changes now my dear friends yes st segment will either depress or it will go higher whenever person is suffering from the myocardial ischemia so yes all of you have guessed it correct i would not say guess it but yes all of you have given the answer correct that yes st segment changes i will still say that option b could be correct if it was mentioned pr interval increases if increases what was there even the option b was correct in this question so i hope you have understood this and congratulations to all of you for giving the correct all right now moving forward to the next question which was asked during this week which goes something like this that a patient has an episode of syncope in the physical therapy clinic the therapist attempts to rule out orthostatic hypotension as the cause of the fainting so which is the best test protocol to use and options given are option a palpate the carotid arteries and take resting heart rate and blood pressure in supine position option b take resting heart rate and blood pressure in supine then in sitting then in standing after 1 minute option c take resting heart rate and blood pressure in supine after 5 minutes and then in semi faller position and option d take resting heart rate and blood pressure in sitting and after 3 and 5 minutes of cyclic ergometry exercises now my dear friends this question what it means to ask is that which test will signify that patient is suffering from postural hypotension so simply we just have to find the test which we will perform to find whether really patient had the syncope because of postural hypotension or was it something else and we know that postural hypotension means what it means that whenever a patient is changing the position from one to another suddenly the pressure is dropping and because of that patient feels the giddiness and patient faints because of the same thing so this is exactly what we are trying to find out 
and this very typically goes along with the option B yes option B why because option B says that we are going to check the heart rate and blood pressure first in supine lying position after one minute we are making the patient in sitting position again checking the heart rate blood pressure after one minute again we are making patient in standing position checking the heart rate and blood pressure so basically what we are trying to do here is we are trying to change the position of the patient from supine to sit sit to stand and that is what exactly we need to check whenever we are suspecting postural hypotension and syncope because of that so that is why my dear friends here option b is going to be the correct so i hope that you all are enjoying this series and uh, understanding so many things about the clinical diagnosis and clinical reasoning for the patients we see in the physiotherapy and uh, just to motivate me bringing more and more questions please uh, share it with your friends and uh, spread more and more about the physio quest and also like and comment and subscribe to my channel physio trend